Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be doing a reading on John Wynn and Jay from K-pop boy group and hyphen. And this was a paid reading to get it done immediately because honestly I've been very busy these days. So I haven't been putting out readings at all. So yeah, so let's get started. Okay, first we're going to look into the overall like energy and bond between them. Okay, so the first card that we got is the base chakra card. The patience and planning card. And the fertility card. Okay, I'm going to pull a few more to kind of get just a very deep understanding. But I'm going to use a different deck. So we got illusions, overconfidence, and defeat. And I'm pulled like from one more deck before I go into it with tarot. Okay. Okay, the first card we got is completion. Creativity, the full, and let's pull a three more so you can get six. Okay, slowing down, control, stress, and patience. Okay, so with these cards coming out for a Jay and John Wynn's friendship. I could definitely tell right now their friendship is at like, I, I will say like, what's the right wording? At a, a solid base right now. I could definitely tell it's like a friendship that is going to move more on the slower slash the more calmer side. But it still is a friendship that's developing. Because I could definitely see what's the slowing down in the patient cards and the patient and planning card is that this friendship is going to be that friendship that kind of, you know, progress is being made but at like a calmer slower rate that's going to require your patience because i feel like right now everything is hectic around these guys especially with the stress and, and hyphen moving very very fast these days i can definitely tell that's gonna like you know trip up their friendship and then under the stress card we have the defeat card it's like that's gonna like stop up their friendship that maybe create like you know like difficulties and patches like rocks for it like for, for example you see this like person almost getting hit in the face with a rock so it's kind of like it's going to create problems at some point or if it already has i definitely see that's going to be issues when it comes to stress and learning to control their you know temper anger you know control their emotional outbursts and being able to understand like okay look we're going to have our problems but what we need to understand is that sometimes we just need to take a step back get ourselves together, and then come back together. Cause I definitely see that this friendship could be definitely based off of creativity, and they may be the source that they could give each other creative thoughts, like especially since they are in a group that's kind of active, singing and music. I feel like they may actually talk about ideas, you know, maybe listen to each other's thoughts and stuff like that type of thing. Because I can definitely see with the full and the fertility card, this friendship is going to be more carefree, fun, maybe childlike, you know, just something where they both could feel like, okay, I can enjoy this friendship type of thing. Like the full is kind of like spontaneous. That's the word. And it's going to grow, but I feel like it's going to be like, you know, like I said, the carefree friendship, like guys are carefree in their friendship. So that's what I'm saying. It's just going to be your typical guy friendship where it's like, yeah, let's go hang out or let's do this, you know, just random stuff. But it is going to take time to get to that level because I definitely see that there's a lot of hope and confidence in this friendship because I feel like they feel complete around each other. Like the completion card with the base chakra card, it's like it's a feeling of feeling like what's the word it's a feeling of feeling like okay it's easy to be around him or it's easy to be around you know each other type of thing let me pull a few more okay we got the four of pentacles the queen of pentacles see it's a lot of um work cards so i feel like they're really gonna get along 
on a work based level. The Page of Swords, the Six of Cups, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Ten of Wands. So with these two, I really feel like they're going to be able to get along on a work based level. Like, I really feel like John went in uh with Jay. Okay, yeah, John went in Jay are really going to understand each other when it comes to creativity, work based. I feel like they definitely is going to develop a good work based sense if they haven't already. Because I feel like these two really understand what it's like to work together or be able to work together on a good business sense. Like the Queen of Pentacles is like a nurturing person, like a caring person. So I feel like they are understanding that we got to you know, act this certain way towards each other during work. We got to act this certain way. And act, but with the Four of Pentacles, it lets, this is the um, card for me when it comes to guardedness and kind of like creating boundaries. I still feel like there's boundaries up. And obviously, it you know, it takes time. I told y'all earlier, it's going to take patience. It's time for them to really, you know, be like family, family. And like I said, I do feel like they do get along very well for the most part. But I still feel like there's some things they haven't opened up on. Like, I feel like it's going to take way more, much more time. But with the Six of Cups, it lets me know it's a lot of generosity. And it's a lot of making good memories together. So I feel like Jay and John will already have a lot of good memories that they may sit down and talk about. Or they may look back and laugh, like nostalgic. I feel like they definitely have already created a sense of a lot of good memories where they both could look back and be like, okay, this and this happened or this and that happened type of thing. That's like the energy I'm kind of getting with that situation. And I really feel like with the page of source, this is like, I feel like they're very curious about each other. I feel like they're going to build off of each other in a way where it's like being able to help each other. I still get being able to help each other, especially coming by the Queen of Pentacles. I really feel like they're going to be good on the business sense. Like I've said, with the Ten of Wands, it may be some clashes or it may be a lot of stress and being overwhelmed with a lot of responsibilities, which could cause a dip in their friendship because it's kind of like when you're stressed out, you act in a certain way versus when you're not stressed out. So I can definitely see with the Will of Fortune, it's going to be good and bad times. It's going to be up and down, but what more important is them being able to understand each other and being like look i may have not opened up to you about this and this is why or right now i'm feeling this type of way and this is why you know kind of understanding like okay look i see you're going through something so i'm gonna back off right now it's like i feel like they're building up to that relationship type of thing because with the ten of wands it's really sticking out to me a lot during their bond right now because in hyphen has been busy nonstop. I mean we could all I mean it's obvious we could look and see that they've been putting out content back to back to back to back. So I definitely see a lot of stress in this friendship. And this stress is coming more from with all these pentacles, more from work than anything. So work is really that's gonna be the tip of the iceberg. Work is really what's gonna, you know, make everything it's going to make or break everything, their work. Their work is really going to make and break everything. So if this friendship break is because of work, if it actually happens and, and it's good and they learn how to figure it out, then that's good. But this friendship right now, I see a lot of positivity around it. But at the same time, it's a lot of guardedness. And then also with this Ten of Wands, it's making me worry. And funny how the Ten of Wands fell on top of stress and defeat. I'm telling you, it's going to be the lot, the responsibilities and the stress that makes this friendship like you know, have their bad moments. I, that's the feeling I'm getting with all these cars falling on top of each other. Exactly what I'm saying. It's like, they really, like, I feel like they could get through this, but I feel like it's the way they handle their emotions because right now I haven't looked into how, you know, Jay or John will handle their emotions, but, you know, that's going to be a big factor. Okay, so now we're going to move into the individual, how they feel about each other. So, yeah. First, I'll do, who do I want to do first? I'll do Jay first. I'll see how does Jay feel about John Wayne first. Okay. So, the first card we got is Foundation and Achievements and Spiritual Strength for how does Jay feel towards John Wayne. And I feel like this is a good card because I feel like, Jay feels that John Wynn is a very strong person. And I feel like this connection is really going to go somewhere between their bond. I definitely feel like they are able to 
you don't celebrate with each other. Like, the foundation and achievements part, you see how, like, they're standing there as a family. That's how I see with, like, Jay and John when, like, I kind of see that they're able to look at their achievement and be like, wow, we did that and celebrate with each other and have positive and good times because there's a rainbow over there. And the spiritual strength is, I feel like, Jay views Jean Wen as a strong person. Like, I feel like he has a lot of strength. And I feel like, also, I also read this as Jean Wen being able to bring everybody together. Or Jean Wen being able to, as a leader, being able to, you know, okay, y'all, let's set our differences aside and let's come together to celebrate what we just achieved. That's the energy I'm kind of getting how Jay kind of views Jean Wen. We got the page of wands. We got the four of wands. And let's see, can we get a few more? Okay. We got the seven of wands. And then we got the full card. So with these cards right now, I could definitely see that um, Jay sees John Wynn as somebody with the four of wands, after the foundation and achievement, we got the four of wands. I feel like John Wynn is good at trying to bring everybody together. That's why I'm getting to get everybody on the same page to create peace and harmony. That's the energy I'm kind of getting. Like, let's celebrate together with the achievements. Everybody come together. Regardless, let's put everything aside. The seven of wands, let's put our high competition, high competitiveness aside. Let's come together and let's do what we need to do. That's why I get how Jay kind of views John Wynn. I feel like with the fool, it's like John Wynn is young. So I feel like the fool is representing his persona of trying to have fresh starts and fresh phases in life. Like, I kind of get that Jay kind of views John Wynn as somebody who's very create, creative, very spontaneous, and just wants to do things and start fresh. I feel like John Wynn, with the Seven of Ones, I feel like he is a competitive person, but I feel like with the Seven of Ones, since the seven members and the hyphen is all of them. But I also get this is something with the Seven of Ones, I don't know if a hyphen have, like, haters or negative people, but I feel like... It has something to do with, like, the public, like, people saying stuff maybe about, you know, how Jay kind of feels, how people say stuff about John Wynn, how John Wynn hand handles the matter. Maybe John Wynn's like, it's okay, you know, people are going to act like that. But the thing is, we can't let our guards down. Like, I feel like John Wynn has a guard up that he knows that is not going to be broken down for a while. And I feel like Jay sees that about him but with the page of one is a good card to get because the page funny how jay views john went in this like young light and obviously he is young but with the full and the page of ones this is gonna also represent somebody with a child like aurora or a child like energy type of thing so i definitely see that john jay views john went as a very creative person like he is somebody that's very very creative and he's willing to like give anything a go it's like he comes up with an idea and he's like let's try this idea as a leader like let's try this idea and also with the page of ones as him being a leader i kind of see that his traits may not be a one like it may not be pitch perfect and he may not be you know a, um you know on the same level as somebody older being a leader would be like I feel like the leader traits that he has that Jay kind of sees is like a young type of vibe so that's why we get all these young cars which makes absolutely which makes a lot of sense but at the same time with the seven of ones it lets me know like oh he has another side to him like from what Jay's because this is how Jay feel about John oh he has another side to him so kind of like be aware type of thing because before back to what I was saying it's kind of like this patience and this timing is going to be a slower process. But with the four of wands, the way Jay feels for John Wynn, I feel like John Wynn really makes Jay feel welcome. I feel like they could, it's fair to say that they are family and they have like a good bond with each other where they could feel like they could be able to come together and celebrate happy moments or be like, hey, let's throw a party. We just won first place on the music show. Let's throw a party, like that type of thing. And it's just like, I, I feel like Jay really loves that John Wynn is able to be so young living, if that makes sense. Even though he's young, it's just like, I don't know how to put it in the best terms. It's like somebody that always like, okay, we achieved this, let's do more. Like, we achieved this, let's start fresh, let's do more, let's achieve more, let's do this. And don't listen to the 
outside forces who's here to like you know trolls or who's here to say stuff type of thing it's like if we're not going to get protected by our company 100 percent, then let's do it ourselves and let's have this boundaries and mindsets that we're not gonna slip by let's continue coming up with creative ideas let's continue having an open mind that's what i'm saying open mindedness like john Wood is very open mindedness when it comes to exploring things i feel like spontaneous i don't know his zodiac sign or his sun signs because i haven't looked into that but it would be cool to know that because i could kind of connect it better but i kind of see that um I think he's an Aquarius. I think John Wynn is an Aquarius. I don't know what Jay is. Yeah, but... Yeah, it's stuff like that where it's kind of like... He's... He's definitely going to put himself out there more. And I feel like Jay feels that towards John Wynn. Like... Okay, so now we're going to look in, um, to it and see how does John Wynn feel towards Jay. Okay, so the first cards that came out was the shadow card and the financial and material changes. Okay, so this is actually interesting how John Wynn feels towards Jay. I feel like Jay has, the way John Wynn views Jay is Jay has different sides of him that he don't know what to show or when to show it. Like, I feel like Jay has sides to him that we have not seen, but John Wynn has seen behind camera. And he's like, why don't you kind of show that side to you if you want to be more out there type of thing. But I feel like it's kind of like the vibe that Jay isn't ready to show certain things because he doesn't want to be viewed in this light. Like, for example, he's viewed as being like supposedly he's the rich one of the group or he has the money of the group and with the financial and material changes it kind of makes me think that something is going to change or he doesn't want to be viewed in that way like i kind of feel like he wanted to keep that side in the shallow side so people don't just think oh he's the rich boy of in hyphen even though people may joke about that but with the page of swords coming up it kind of lets me know people do actually gossip and talk about that a lot. If you really go on Twitter, you'll see people talk about, oh, Jay has money. And that kind of comes annoying. I can see where that becomes annoying because kind of like that's a side that John Wynn sees that he rather have, that he wanted to keep behind the scenes rather than show people. Like I feel like Jay was like, I want to keep this behind the scenes. Like that's information that he probably didn't want getting out, even though people joke about it and it's like, I guess, deemed as cool but it kind of gets annoying when you focus more on you know his money versus you know his talent type of thing so yeah that's why i kind of get with that card that's the energy i'm kind of picking up with that card it's kind of like i feel like john when sees that jay has a hard time on which side that he should show and not wanting to give out this type of information but since it's already out wanting to cope with it okay Let's pull some cards to see how John will feel towards Jay. Okay. We got the Ten of Cups, which is perfect, which goes perfectly with the um, Four of Wands. It's like peace and harmony, being able to come together and, you know, understand one another and being able to, like, feel like a family, feel at home, feel like you have people that you could go to and they're actually going to support you. Like, that's why I kind of feel like John would feel like Jay is family. And I feel like, again, I still get this vibe that John would try to bring everybody together. Like, in this whole group, like, he's like, okay, everybody, let's come on. Like, I feel like it's not only even Jay. It's literally everybody that he tries to get together to have everybody on the same positive mindset. And I feel like he probably said something like that early on. Like, in an interview when I used to, like, I think I watched one in hyphen interview and he said something about um members having problems with each other and him not knowing so it's just that type of thing where it's like he rather have everybody be happy together rather than you know be sad together like I feel like he really strives on trying to bring everybody on the same page and I feel like John Wynn really feels like Jay is considered family because he worked so hard to bring them all together. And it's funny how we are the world is at the bottom. It's like joining forces. It's like I could definitely say that John Wynn and Jay is joining forces and in a positive way. We got the page of cups. We got the three of cups in reverse. And then we got the five of one. Okay, so we're going to get into a bit more of a, 
you know, a bit more of a different side to how John Wynn sees Jay. Okay, towards the page of cuffs, I definitely see that he does see Jay as somebody that has, you know, a child like a war to somebody that's very like. I feel like Jay knows certain things, but he don't always say is it says it out loud. Like the page of cuffs, like maybe like like a psychic, but maybe not actually being a psychic, but like having like into strong intuitions and stuff like that. And a lot of creativity. Like, I feel like Jay is a very creative person. I feel like John Wynn feels that. John Wynn, and that's what I'm saying. Funny how creativity came out earlier. I'm telling you, I feel like creativity is really going to connect them. Like, this business is really going to connect them and have them understand one another a lot. I feel that. And then we got the Three of Cups in reverse, the way John Wynn kind of feels towards Jay. Jay, and John, from John Wynn's point of view, it seemed like Jay is a bit withdrawn or isolated sometimes. Like, sometimes jay isn't really what's the word wanting to be connected with connected with i feel like i did a reading on them way like i think last year or something and i kind of got that a lot of garden is coming from jay and i can kind of see that right now with the three of cups in reverse it's kind of like a, a imbalanced social life and then with the five of ones coming out this is like competitive conflict disagreement i feel like john went to that sometimes jay can be like a you know, maybe, like, get into a conflict with other members or get into a conflict where it's kind of, like, it's kind of almost hard to please them sometimes. It's kind of like, oh, sometimes, you know, Jay could be a bit difficult sometimes, not in a bad way, but just, like, you know how you have a friend and you just be honest with them. Yeah, it's kind of like Jay is great and stuff. I love him and stuff, but sometimes, you know, he get in his little mood where he isolate himself and he gets in his little mood where it's kind of like, we really don't want to deal with it, but it kind of like we knew it was coming type of thing, especially with the 10 of ones coming out and stress coming out earlier. I feel like this is when, you know, when the tension is high, the stress is high. I feel like this is when the conflict happens. So I feel like John Wynn and Jay may also have their little clashing because the five of ones can represent them having their little fallout moment, but coming back together. I definitely don't see that happening right now, but I definitely see that they probably did have like a moment where they probably went at it with each other, but also with other members in the group. So I definitely see that's the way John Wynn feels towards Jay in a way. And it's like, I don't even get, even though we got the three of cups in reverse, the five of ones in reverse, I mean, if five of ones upright, I don't even see like, I feel like the energy is still overall good. I do see, I already said it earlier in the video, I do see issues, it's, it's going to happen and it probably have already happened. That's a normal friendship, a normal friendship is going to be normal. You're going to have your ups and downs with the Wheel of Fortune. I feel like it's going to be good time, good luck, and it's going to be bad luck sometimes. That's what I'm saying. I see that it's all up to how they control everything in their individual self and the way they come together and understand each other. Like I said, we're going to have, like, with patience and planning, it's going to take time for them to actually, you know, understand because they are so young. With all these pages, the fools coming up, they are so young, so everything is not going to be perfect. Yes, they have good memories, but at the same time, they're going to have their upset memories, their fighting time, which is normal. This is considered normal stuff. So I definitely do see that, but at the end of the day, with John Wynn having the Ten of Cups come out towards Jay and Jay having the Four of Wands come out, I still feel like their foundation is so strong and it's like they consider each other family and stuff. And families fight. Families argue. They fight. But it's at the end of the day, it's coming together, understanding like, look, let's sit down and let's talk about what we did. Even though you may not open up to me personally, you may keep stuff behind the scenes and I may keep stuff behind the scenes, but it's kind of like them coming together, being like, hey... You know, this happened because I was under a lot of stress. And this happened because we have a lot to do. And you did this. It's like, that's just an example. But it's kind of like, yeah, I feel like Jay may exclude himself sometimes. Like, he may go into solitude, lonely mode. Where he has, like, he's like, I don't want to talk to nobody. And then when you know you need to talk to people. But, yeah, that's kind of what I get. That's kind of all I get with their reading. It was pretty you know, good. It was pretty good for the most part. Like I said, every friendship or bond is going to have ups and downs. That doesn't mean it's any less perfect or any less, you know, nothing in this world is perfect, but it's all about understanding. So that's why I get with Jay and John Wynn's bond. 
so make sure to like comment and subscribe and you can always request in the comment section down below and tune into my next video but once again i have been very very busy these days so that's why i haven't really been uploading anything and people have been reaching out to me through email like kind of like okay i want this reading done and purchasing it so yeah so that's all i have to say goodbye